Iran claimed responsibility for an attack on U.S. targets in Iraq after threatening retaliation for the killing of its top general last week. Tuesday night, Iranian state television aired this video of what it said were missiles being fired. It's a show of use of force that we will go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, uh, tip for chat with you. The Pentagon confirms more than a dozen ballistic missiles were launched from inside Iran against U.S. and coalition forces in Iraq. One target was in Erbil in northern Iraq. We heard two large explosions here. Shortly after those explosions, we also saw helicopters in the air, too, buzzing Ur Erbil. The other target was the Al-Assad Air Base, about 100 miles northwest of Baghdad. It's home to U.S. service personnel. President Trump made a surprise visit to the base in December of 2018, and Vice President Mike Pence made an appearance there this past November. Prior to the attack, President Trump repeated a dire warning to the regime. If Iran does anything that they shouldn't be doing, they're going to be suffering the consequences, and very strongly. The vice president called top congressional leaders to inform them of the attacks. They had just been briefed in person about the intelligence leading up to the killing of Iran's top general. Lawmakers reacting to the attacks have questions. Right now we're in a defensive posture. What we don't know if this is the first of more than one wave. I am questioning whether or not the Trump administration has a coherent strategy for what to do next. Late Tuesday, President Trump was meeting with his top advisors at the White House. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.